When setting up a sales rep within X3, the sales rep code will be defined. Uh, in the company name field, one can specify the name of the rep. Over on the addresses tab, the rep's address can be specified. phone number field. The reps landline fax, mobile and so forth as well as the uh, company and other email addresses can be specified. Over on the general tab contains information about the uh, sales reps commission basis. Um, X3 lends itself to um, establish uh, the commissions based upon a percentage of the revenues, a percentage of the margins, or based upon a uh, more complex formula. Um, over in the commission rates section, there's two different uh, commission rates that can be set depending upon if the rep's a primary or a secondary rep. Then in addition to that, there's a user-defined list of uh, sales categories. So if there's different uh, commission structures depending upon whether or not uh, the customer that's being sold to is a maybe a tier one versus tier two customer or rather an end user versus a distributor, all those uh, um, attributes can be captured therein. Down in the financial section, um, there's a accounting code that can be associated with the sales rep. Um, for doing uh, commissions reporting through the general ledger. Um, there's a series of analytical dimensions that also can be defined upon the wrap.